Welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. We're going to go through this conversation three times. First, I'll read everything out loud in short pieces. When you see the text has been highlighted to yellow, repeat it out loud. Secondly, we start having our conversation. You read everything out loud for Kelly, and I read everything for Lyman. Third and final, we have the same conversation, but we switch sides. You'll still be Kelly. Kelly, this apartment is incredible, spacious, great view, and the rent. is unbelievably cheap for the city. I can't believe our luck. I know, Lyman. It's like a dream come true. I can already picture us living here. But there's a strange smell, isn't there? Do you smell that? Yeah, there's definitely something off. It's like a really bad odor. And it's not just a random smell. We should investigate this, Lyman. It's a bit unsettling. Especially since everything else is perfect. Agreed. Let's figure out where this smell is coming from. It can't be that bad. They start searching for the source of the smell. Checking the rooms one by one. We've looked everywhere and haven't found a single clue. About where this odor is coming from. I'm at a real loss here. It's like a mystery novel. But I'm not sure I want to solve it anymore. This is so frustrating. I had my heart set on this place. It's perfect, almost. I know, Kelly. I really love it here, too. It's spacious. The view is amazing. And the rent is perfect for us. But that smell is unbearable. Maybe we should talk to the landlord. Hey, 
explain the situation, and see if something can be done about it. Yeah, that's a good idea. They might not even be aware of it. And if... they're willing to address it, we could have the perfect place to live. Let's give it a try then. I'll call the landlord and see if we can Solve this mystery and secure our dream apartment. Thanks, Kelly. I really hope this works out. It's too good of a deal to pass up, smell or no smell. I spoke with the landlord and was told that they've tried everything. Short of bringing in scent hounds to track down the source of the smell. So that's that. Everyone is giving up. This place will be empty forever. No, quite the contrary. I told him to bring in the dogs. That's our last hope, so let's go for it. And he agreed. They're coming tomorrow. The landlord called. He said the dogs found an old woman's body. in pieces wrapped in plastic and hidden in various walls. If you're joking, this is the world's worst joke ever. I'm serious. The police said that after she died, her husband hid her remains so her monthly retirement checks would keep coming. So, after the old man passed away, no one ever figured out where the old lady was? How long ago did all this happen? They said it was back in the early 1990s, and it took this long for the
plastic to break down and start to leak and of course smell. Wow, smell or no smell, I'm not living here. Yeah, I feel the same way. Oh well. The search for a new home continues. Secondly, we start having our conversation. You read everything out loud for Kelly, and I read everything for Lyman. Kelly, this apartment is incredible. Spacious, great view, and the rent is unbelievably cheap for the city. I can't believe our luck. Yeah, there's definitely something off. It's like a really bad odor, and it's not just a random smell. Agreed. Let's figure out where this smell is coming from. It can't be that bad. They start searching for the source of the smell, checking the rooms one by one. I'm at a real loss here. It's like a mystery novel, but I'm not so sure I want to solve it anymore. I know, Kelly. I really love it here, too. It's spacious, the view is amazing, and the rent is perfect for us. But that smell is unbearable. Yeah, that's a good idea. They might not even be aware of it. And if they're willing to address it, we could have the perfect place to live. Thanks, Kelly. I really hope this works out. It's too good of a deal to pass up, smell or no smell. So that's that? Everyone is giving up? This place will be empty forever. The landlord called. He said the dogs found an old woman's body in pieces, wrapped in plastic and hidden in various walls. I'm serious. The police said that after she died, her husband hid her remains so her monthly retirement checks would keep coming. They said it was back in the early 1990s, 
and it took this long for the plastic to break down and start to leak and, of course, smell. Yeah, I feel the same way. Oh well. The search for a new home continues. Third and final. We have the same conversation, but we switch sides. You'll still be Kelly. I know, Kelly. It's like a dream come true. I can already picture us living here, but there's a strange smell, isn't there? Do you smell that? We should investigate this, Kelly. It's a bit unsettling, settling especially since everything else is perfect. They start searching for the source of the smell, checking the rooms one by one. We've looked everywhere and haven't found a single clue about where this odor is coming from. This is so frustrating. I had my heart set on this place. It's perfect, almost. Maybe we should talk to the landlord, explain the situation, and see if something can be done about it. Let's give it a try then. I'll call the landlord and see if we can solve this mystery and secure our dream apartment. I spoke with the landlord and was told that they've tried everything short of bringing in scent hounds to track down the source of the smell. No, quite the contrary. I told him to bring in the dogs. That's our last hope, so let's go for it. And he agreed. They're coming tomorrow. If you're joking, this is the world's worst joke ever. So after the old man passed away, no one ever figured out where the old lady was? How long ago did all of this happen? Wow, smell or no smell, I'm not living here. <laughs>